Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will understand the second method for producing high voltage DC. This method is rectification method. Rectification of AC is the most efficient means of producing high voltage DC. Simply, a rectifier circuit or the rectification method converts high voltage AC into high voltage DC. This is the main concept of rectification. A rectification or rectifier circuit converts AC voltage into DC voltage. Rectification here is done using power diodes. Uh, power diodes are power electronic devices which are used in the rectification uh, method or the rectification circuit. Here we use power diodes to withstand high voltage and high current in our circuit. One of the simple rectifying circuit is half wave rectifier circuit. This is the first circuit of rectification that's used in our course. So, what is half wave rectifier circuit? This is half wave rectifier circuit. Half wave rectifier circuit simply consists of first high voltage transformer. Here, also we have here the power diode, which responsible for rectification process. Also, we have the capacitor here. This capacitor is parallel with our load here, RL. The load here is represented by resistance, and this load is our insulator in the high voltage lab. Also, we have here the input voltage. This input voltage is the secondary voltage of the uh, secondary circuit of high voltage transformer, as we see. The voltage here is the voltage of the secondary of high voltage transformer and the output voltage here is across our load and we can notice that and we can uh, predict that output voltage here will be high voltage DC and the input voltage of course is AC. So the diode here converts the input AC voltage into output DC voltage but of course high voltage DC. So Let's see the function of each component in our circuit. This is our circuit, of course. First, we have high voltage transformer. This high voltage transformer, as explained before, is used to convert or step up the voltage. It's used to obtain high voltage. Here, high voltage is obtained. This AC high voltage in our circuit is the input to our rectification circuit. Okay? Also, we use the diode. The diode is used to convert the high voltage AC into high voltage DC with voltage rebels. So, this is the function of our diode. Also, we have the capacitance or the capacitor. Here, the capacitor is used to smooth the DC voltage and reduce the voltage rebels. These voltage rebels will be explained later the resistance rl represents our load or our insulator so the operation of this circuit is very simple this is the waveform of our circuit here we have the dotting waveform is the input voltage which is the voltage of the secondary of our high voltage transformer as we see it's ac and sinusoidal but our output voltage here is unidirectional waveform so it can be considered as DC voltage with some rebels as we see this is the rebel voltage the difference between the maximum output voltage and the minimum output voltage this difference is called 2 delta V where delta V is the rebel voltage delta V is the rebel voltage let's see the operation of this circuit first of all when the input voltage increases the voltage across diode become positive when the voltage across the diode become positive the diode acts as a closed switch so it can be considered as short circuit at this moment the capacitor charges in this direction this is the direction of charging the capacitor until the output voltage reaches the maximum input voltage at this point the voltage across the diode become negative so the diode at this moment can be considered as open circuit or open switch at this moment the capacitor 
discharges through the insulator in this direction so the voltage decreases as the capacitor discharges until we come at this point at this point the voltage across diode become positive again and the diode become short circuit so the capacitor charges and the operation is repeated many times and the output voltage will become that so this is the operation of our circuit now let's see important parameters that identify the performance of our circuit before getting our important parameters this is the output voltage waveform this waveform is a simplification waveform of our output voltage here the output voltage increases and decreases and have maximum value and also have minimum value and the difference between the maximum and minimum is called 2 delta V while delta V is called the rebel voltage as we see delta V here and also this is delta V also the average of this output voltage can be considered as V output DC or DC output voltage or average output voltage this average output voltage is our high voltage DC that will be subjected to our insulator in the high voltage lab so this is a simplification waveform of our circuit let's see the important parameters first we have the rebel voltage which is delta V as explained delta V equals half times V maximum negative V minimum half of the difference between the maximum voltage and minimum voltage this value can be calculated to be the maximum voltage V maximum over 2F RL times C which is the capacitance also we have the load current I output this is the current that flows in our insulator can be calculated as output current equals V maximum over RL also we have our DC load voltage which is high voltage DC V output DC from this waveform can be considered and calculated as V maximum negative delta V so it can be calculated as V maximum times 1 negative 1 over 2 F R L C so these are important parameters which must be taken into consideration while designing our rectification circuit or our half wave rectifier circuit where F is a supply frequency here F is our supply frequency which is 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz and RL is the load resistance also we have C which is smoothing capacitor, capacitor that's used to reduce the rebel voltage also we have V minimum which is minimum output voltage and we have V maximum is the maximum output voltage and of course it's equal to the maximum voltage of the secondary circuit of our high voltage transformer so this is a complete understanding of our circuit which is half wave rectifier circuit see you in the next lecture and thank you